Yes, there is a secret way through Moria. But I did not need to search for it, as you must. I cannot reveal the secrets of the elves. You must learn them yourself. The dwarves designed their defenses so they might emerge from hidden doors and surprise their foes. Let us hope you can open this portal before your enemies surprise you. Okay, so... Anyways, welcome back to Lord of the Rings The Third Age. In the last part, we took down a couple more goblins and some wargs, and we did that one uh, part in the game where you get surrounded by a whole bunch of goblins, and we kicked all their sorry asses. So, we proceed through Moria. Okay. Let's see here. Any new equipment? Uh, nothing really for Elagost. Uh, oh, nice. New uh, chest piece here for Barathor. That's nice. Uh, go ahead and equip that. Um, anything for Hadhod? Ooh, a battle axe. Uh, yeah, that's better than what he has, I guess. I don't really use Hadhod, but it's still nice to give him the best he can, so you might as well, right? Ah, <sighs> got my Coca-Cola. Okay, the Belrog broke that one, uh, that bridge. That would have been the quick and easy way out of here, but... Ah, uh, they want to break the easy way for you, so you had to go all the way around and find a new way. And Gandalf, that was such a dick move. Oh, I know all the elf secrets, but I'm not going to tell you, because that'd be too easy. You have to figure them out for yourself. They have taken the bridge. And the second hall. We have barred the gates. But cannot hold them for long. The ground shakes. Drums. Drums in the deep. We cannot get out. A shadow moves in the dark. We cannot get out. They are coming. yourself in next time and rid us of your stupidity. Oh, rock on, Pip, and you woke up all the orcs and the goblins. Smooth move, frickin' dummy. I don't really like Pippin in the first movie, in The Fellowship of the Ring, he's pretty stupid. Like, not that he's not stupid in, like, the Two Towers and Return of the King, but... Still, I mean, at least I like him a bit more in those movies than I do in this one. Okay. Um, go ahead and kill these guys, because these guys just want to start some stuff with us, so we're gonna kill them. That's what you get for coming in our territory, bud. You come in our territory, you die, because you're green, and you smell bad, and you're a goblin, and people don't like you. Sunlight kills you, and I'll kill you, too. Creature Bane. You know that? Yeah, that did pretty good damage, actually. Elagos is kind of like, Elagos has one action point, that's all he has. That's pretty much why I had to use Creature Paint. I didn't have enough action points to use Aim Shot or Arrow Flurry or anything. Uh, do I really want to use a uh, King's Foil? Uh, I'll leave for the old Toby. I'll restore more. Okay. I guess I'll just use a basic attack. Yeah, it was still enough to kill him. Whatever. Decent. Alrighty. Let's see what we got for experience here. Ah, uh, Coca-Cola's good. Uh, Elagos leveled up. That's decent. Okay. Let's keep progressing, because, uh... There is quite a few fights after you, uh, do that circular fight, like, where they surround you. 
and there's nowhere to save until you get back to the part where we entered into the last part, like where we entered into this whole area right before the Balrog came. So you basically need to kill all of these guys on your way out, and they're all mandatory fights before you're able to save the game. So you pretty much just do not want to die in any of the fights out there, because then you'll have to redo this entire part of the game, and it's really annoying. So whatever you do, do not die on your way back to that save post. That's the only one in this whole area. So that's certainly something to keep in mind. I don't think that's ever happened to me before, but I've come pretty close. I think I've beaten through this game. I think when I recorded this LP, I think this was like the fourth, like number four. Uh, fourth time I've beat through this game. So I, I, I know this game fairly well. I mean, I, I quite enjoy this game, so I, I do know my way around it pretty easily. Okay, hence the fact I don't think I've had one game over, I don't think. Not so far, anyway. Okay, more goblins, just two of them at least. Okay, oh, nice critical hit, right in the jaw. Okay, he wants to shoot Elagost, Elagost takes it like a beast. I'm not even going to bother charging my, uh my party up with stat upgrades because or like right now during the fight like haste of the elves or company might because two goblins i mean you don't need that to take these guys out you just freaking gang beat them until they're dead and he and Andriel dodge that because she's like a ninja okay buddy take that oh yeah You're dead now son yeah buddy just like, yeah i killed you Suck on that, you s stupid person thing. I don't know. Okay. Okay, let's keep progressing. Ah, uh, dead end. Okay, secret stairway. Jeez, can you imagine how bad that room would stink? Probably like sulfur and methane and other poisonous gas. Oh, wow, four guys. Because of all that lava and stuff, and probably, like, just the underground catacombs and stuff. Like, can you imagine the stink? Like, holy crap. Okay, on this one, I might want to use Haste of the Elves. I think I'll give that to Barathor, because he's gonna... I'm gonna want him, because I just... I just know that his attacks will do probably the most of these guys. Um, uh, Elagos can probably take out the wargs. Um, and Barathor and Idriel can take out the goblins, so I think that's a pretty good strategy. Uh, Ranger Craft. Uh, I guess we'll go. Eh. I really should have just went for Creature Bane, but I guess Arrow Flurry. I mean, I can hit both of the wargs, so I can at least get some damage on them. Okay. I like that little symbol that comes up behind his head when he does it. It looks pretty cool, actually. Like a big leaf. It's like one of the uh, Lothlorien leaves when uh, the Fellowship gets their cloaks. They have that little brooch around the neck part. Looks pretty Looks pretty cool, actually. Okay, let's get some stats going here. Uh, okay. Oh, nice. See, that's that Company Valor is coming handy. I just dodged that. Uh, do I want to set up another leadership, or should I just restore some health? I might just restore some health and some action points. Um, there should be something in here that can restore both. I don't know if I've spent them all or not, though. Okay, there we go. Decent. Okay. Okay, shooting at Idriel. Okay, he hit that time. Okay, Elagos this time. Jeez. Oh, that was Barathor, sorry. Okay, uh, Loudwater Fury. Uh, that warg, nah, maybe. Maybe I should just heal someone. Yeah, I think I will actually. I'll heal Barathor, I guess. Jeez, that, they're hitting me rather often. At least I get to counterattack, though. Wargs take quite a bit of damage unless you actually hit them with, like, an actual quote-unquote super effective attack if you want to go by the Pokemon logic of it. 
such as like Creature Bane or Warg Bane or something like that. Like, it's pretty tough to actually take them down. Luckily, I can get some more attack power going here, though, which is decent. Okay, there we go. They're finally starting to miss again. Come on, dodge it. No, you suck. Okay. Swordcraft. Okay, they. Eh, I should just take out these wargs. They're doing more damage than the uh, goblins, I'd say. Okay. Eh, I might as well just. Uh, I guess it could heal us. I don't exactly know how Adriel's doing for action points. She actually. No, she has quite a few. Now she has even more. Okay, I guess it is better to play this part safe, though, because if you, like I said, if you die in any one of these fights on the way to the exit, you pretty much have to do this entire part over again, which is a real pain, so, yeah, you don't want that to happen, so you might as well just take it slow and safe. Jeez, that warg just takes it like a freaking juggernaut. And now I can use Arrow Flurry, because that should take out the warg. Yes, it does. And I can also get some nice residual damage on that, uh, goblin as well. Okay. Loudwater Fury. This sh this will easily take out that goblin. Oh, wow, really? I, 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 I thought that would have actually taken him out. He barely lived, though. Lived on, like, ten hit points. Like, friggin' nothing. Okay, do not get a triple critical, I swear. Okay, missed. That's like the worst thing ever when there's something that has like no health left and he gets like a triple critical on your guy right before he dies. It's like, wow, really? Jeez, you're gonna kill my guy right before you're dead. That's just such a pain in the ass. Uh, nice, uh, Elgos leveled up. Uh, Barathor leveled up. And that is it. Okay. Almost to the exit now. Ah, one more fight. I hope. I hope this is the last fight before we get to save. Okay. Okay, just a warg and... Or a warg and two goblins. Um... Might as well accompany Valor. Uh... I guess might as well. I don't see why not. Uh, should I just use perfect mode? Uh, nah. I do have the perfect mode, uh... Fully charged, but... I might want to save that for later. Okay. No, oh, jeez, they're just gang beating Barathor. Come on, counter it. Yes. Okay. Good, good, good. They're attacking Barathor again. They're all attacking Barathor, and they got a crit too. Jeez, oh man. Okay, arrow flurry, I guess, or creature bane. No, my little zero flurry, I guess. Okay. Oh, nice, the warg's dead. Decent, very nice. Shoot, this warg. I'm a little distracted because there's like a car outside my house and he's been sitting there for like 10 minutes and I'm wondering like, what is he doing out there? But it doesn't look anything. I think it's one of those guys that counts traffic going by or something, I really don't know. Or he's lost, one of the two. But anyway, one goblin left. Okay, sh guardian strike. Not quite enough to take him out, but I think one more attack should kill him. Oh, jeez. Barathor is just getting his arse kicked right now. Uh, now does Loudwater Fury him. That should take him out. Yes, it does. Decent. Very, very, very nice. Okay, that car is leaving now. Good. He's he always drawing my attention out there. Like, what is he doing? Okay. Idriel leveled up, I believe. Okay, we're actually able to get to the save post now. Mission accomplished for right now. We got out of that crazy mess, and I might as well, like, level up all these guys before saving, or not. Um, go ahead and save. And I believe that's all for this video, but, um, yeah, uh, two parts today. Hopefully I get some more up today, but, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next part of Lord of the Rings The Third Age. See ya.